this tessellation was tweaked over the course of semi-watching a soccer game, so 90 minutes plus extra time. In my original intent, I wanted to illustrate to you the three different rotation points and how you can join your lines to these points creatively, not only the tip of your line touching the exact rotation point, although I do tend to do that all the time. So this is how I came up with the idea for the ball player tessellation. The first line shoulders a rotation point, like trying to hold three apples in one hand. For the second line, I drew a line somewhat towards the second rotation point, but instead of reaching it, I circled around it. And the last way to indicate the third rotation point, I aimed right for the last rotation point, but I sneaked around the back side of the point before touching it. This was completely unplanned, an arbitrary approach. I'm still learning too, learning much by teaching. I thought to myself, why would I delete this? It certainly looks like something here has potential. This was simply done to show the three different rotation points. I ended up seeing a human figure in there and I started rolling with it. I can't screen capture a two hour long session while creating a tessellation. It would be tedious to watch me struggle, do, undo, tweak forever. But I did do a few screen captures as I was working on it to show you some of the process. Most critical modifications are done at the start of your project, where it might be a success or a toss into the recycle bin, where you need to judge if this assemblage of lines has potential or not, where intuition and imagination are important. Look at how I tweaked those lines. I sketched in gray over top the blue draft. I added hair flowing in the wind, which allowed me to flatten the base of his feet on the other side of the line. The right shoulder, I introduced a few curves, which on the other side of the line allowed for a bend in the knee. Likewise, for the other shoulder space and ankle on the other side of the line, adding nodes to both hand areas and tweaking those. Pulling the face down a bit, adding clothing possibilities. It's line tweaking from here to the end that takes up most of the time. Tweaking the line to fit your vision, your intuition. Adding details, adding fill with a double tap. Changing line colors and thicknesses using the edit menu. I'll let you watch this for a while.
the three cozy buddies link with one line two of the rotation points then link the third rotation point to anywhere on the first line that's it well, almost you still need to tweak when you look at it this way you can see that it is indeed only two lines to accomplish the tile Although I did draw three approaches to the three rotation points at the start of the video. The white line connects two rotation points and the aqua line connects the third point to anywhere on that first line. I'm sure there are many more ways to create tessellations using different symmetry systems, different software. I can only show you how I've acquired and used these 17 methods. Yes, number 17 on his jersey. Here's the final recolored version of the tessellation, traditionally with three colorways. In the next video, we will tackle a cattail concern.